New Zealanders can soon dive into history in remote Fiordland and explore the country's oldest known shipwreck as part of a new documentary series. Last year, last winter, Toitu, Otago Settlers Museum, organised for professional maritime archaeologists to survey three sites. Tess Brunton spoke to those on the expedition ahead of the documentary's launch. Hidden away in the heart of Fiordland's remote wilderness lies relics of Aotearoa's history buried beneath the waves in Tamatia Dusky Sound. It's home to the first known meeting of southern iwi with Captain James Cook, where more than 240 people were marooned after the 1795 Endeavour, which isn't Cook's ship, was shipwrecked and much more. But getting there is no easy or cheap task. It's a four to five day tram in, a flight or a five-hour boat trip that leaves Deep Cove in doubtful sound. In July, an expedition team organised by Toitu Otago Settlers Museum ventured by boat to Tamatia to see what they could discover. Far out. It's not the easiest to walk on, is it? Toy 2 curator Sean Brosnahan scripts and presents the seven-part documentary that captures the trip. He feels for those on the endeavour who found themselves shipwrecked and forced to live in unforgiving Fiordland for an unknown period of time. When you're in that really challenging environment, it's pouring with rain and the bush is so dense and maybe you had to feed yourself from what you could catch around the place, which down there, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea and all the rest of it, nonetheless... The thought of being stranded there when they came from Sydney, hot, sunny Sydney, and here they are in wet, quite cool Fiordland. To understand that sort of perspective and take yourself back in time, that's really the, the driver, I think, the story, the human interest part of the stories. He remembers watching divers disappear beneath the waves, thinking how significant remote dusky sound is to Aotearoa's shared heritage. For maritime archaeologist Dr Matthew Carter, diving to the shipwreck of the 1795 Endeavour was on his bucket list, but he wasn't expecting to see much, as others described it as a pile of rocks. These ships had to have rocks to balance them, but what we saw is that this amazing kind of ballast pile and underneath it were these timbers which were you know from 1795 they've been underwater for that long and yet they were in you know perfectly intact condition with copper fastings all the rest of it so as a maritime archaeologist yeah this incredibly well preserved site from that long ago. It wasn't smooth sailing the survey was done in winter in the middle of remote Fiordland. We're getting hailed on before we even got in the water, so the hail's bouncing off us and we're kind of looking at each other going, oh, are we actually going to do this? But I suppose the advantage of that was that it keeps the sand flies down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just an incredible place to work, uh, so remote, and the ship we are on had, had everything we needed to work productively in those really chilly conditions. The expedition was the brainchild of the museum's exhibition developer, William McKee, who first started thinking about the trip back in lockdown. The museum is home to a hunk of wood and a broken bottle from the Endeavour, and he was curious to see what remained. The Endeavour has been firstly attempted to be salvaged and then basically pilfered over, over that time because everyone that went there, well, you take away a bit of a souvenir. So sadly, that's how there is so many, so much of that collection in museums around. So it's a great opportunity to be able to confirm this all stuff there and then look at further ways of protecting. He's hopeful the documentary series will inspire more to learn about Aotearoa's history and could trigger other exploration missions. For Checkpoint, Korta Sprunton, TNA.